I just love it when I come home from work, walk up on the deck, and find a package from Hong Kong sitting on the porch. DHL came by today, left me something. Let's dig into it and see what's in here. Hey everyone, welcome back, Edge of 3D, I'm Scott, and got home from work today, walked up on my deck, and uh, there was this rather heavy box from Hong Kong sitting here with a DHL label on it, and uh, when I say heavy, it's heavy. So, let's open it up and see what's in it. I got a pretty good idea, a uh, project that's uh, been being worked on since uh, East Coast Rep Rap Festival, so let's open it up. See what it looks like. We'll go from there. It is a printer. It's a Lynx Diamond printer, which is, uh, I'll throw a picture of it up here or here somewhere. Um, see got a high wind looking carriage a uh, high wind looking carriage um, looks like we got some rails here three rails no carriages uh, little metal bits I'm gonna bet that these are uh, metal rollers that go with this belt Another metal roller. Um, a whole bag of goodies. Power switch, micro SD card. Hey, look. A funny looking power adapter that doesn't work for anything that I have, but we'll figure out something. <laughs> uh. This appears to be some uh, mains power cable. Another big bag of bits and pieces. I see pulleys, gears, uh, all kinds of connectors. Timing belt and says JST XH2 one meter two pieces so I would say some stepper wires uh, this all appears to be 2020 and 2040 extrusions let's fold this under here um, we got some shafts This is stepper motors, and yeah, three stepper motors, no branding on them. Lots more aluminum bits and pieces, frame. Let's see what we have here. Um, a USB wireless adapter. We have a MakerBase MKS Pi version 1.1. This appears to be a MakerBase MKS Pi TS35. So I would say this is a touch screen. We have a BiQ H2 V2S light, so that's the one that's got the uh, frame all uh, lightened on it. This is going to be a power supply of some sort. Uh, an unnamed power supply, it's a JC um, 360 watt, 24 volt power supply a big tree tech SKR mini e3 
There we go. Let's see if we got a duck. Hey. All right, we're all good. We got a duck. So that's genuine. Um, some more machined aluminum bits. I'm going to say these are probably tensioners for these rollers. Uh, what do we have here? This is some sort of stepper, but this looks a little different. Uh, I'd say we have a gear reduction stepper. So that's your normal stepper, but it's got our gear reduction unit on it. Interesting. Okay. Got another carriage to go with these rails. Um, these say roll caps, so these would be the threaded caps that go on the end of these rollers. And we have one more box in here. I'm going to say this is probably a build plate. Heated bed. It is a uh, Creality CR10 220 watt heated bed. I don't think that's CR10 size. So I have CR10s and I'm pretty sure the build plates are a lot bigger on those. But it's a Creality heated bed nonetheless. And no, this isn't a Creality kit. But you can source parts from Creality for your own printers if you so choose to manufacture them that way. Which is what this company has decided to do. So, that's what it is. It's the uh, new belt3dprinterkit.com uh, diamond links. Um, you got to see it as I unboxed it. That's how it shows up. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the first one out in the wild. Kind of put everything back in here for now. If I can find spots for everything to go in here. And uh, there are some uh, bits and pieces of it that have to be printed. Um, the case for the pie, the case for the motherboard, uh, that sort of stuff has to be printed. And then uh, I will do a uh, video of it being built. And then uh, about a month from right now, if you want to see it in person and watch it print, we'll be at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival in Loveland, Colorado, and uh, this printer will be on display there. But uh, in the meantime, it's kind of a sneak peek. That's what comes in the box. Um, like I say, there are a few pieces that you got to print, and I'll put pictures of those somewhere around here. Uh, a link to this kit down in the video description, and uh, um, thanks to. Uh, Polymaker over here. I think there's, I can see it there. Polymaker's over here. Uh, I'll print out the pieces in for it uh, out of Polymaker. Get started on that tonight. And uh, anyway, that's what it is. It's the belt3dprinterkit.com uh, links diamond or diamond links. I don't know. I'll put the name of it up here. Anyway, it's a new printer. It's cool. Um, it's different and you'll just have to wait and see i'll throw a picture up throw some pictures up what's got to be printed and stay tuned hit the like button hit the subscribe button or the like button and the subscribe button they'll pop up here uh, hit that subscribe button and as i get to building this and get it up and printing for the first time you'll be the first to know so anyway as always thanks for watching i appreciate each and every one of you that take the time to watch these videos hit the thumbs up We'll catch you again sometime, and as always, peace out.